made a little Lego brick with toolpath. Um, two out part, incredibly simple, although the tolerances matter a lot when you're making Legos. Um, but I used toolpath to do up one, up two, and the soft jaw, all off a of zero point workflow. I got the whole part programmed and made in less than 20 minutes. Uh, I did run into some hiccups though. Uh, the first one is, and this goes back to the recent episode we published on Chips and Tips, uh, feeds and speeds for my rougher, my AXFPS rougher, this guy, turned out to be an issue. What happened was, we, we use these feeds and speeds all the time. I'm still not 100% sure what was going on, but you can see these jaws are pretty narrow. That's, that's a small part. Um, so the part was coming out of pretty small stock, but what I had was about this tall. So I needed it to mow off the extra. Uh, the rougher would have handled it fine, but it chucked the part. It's the first time in a long time I've had it chuck the part out of gripper jaws. And I'm not sure whether I just didn't tighten the vise enough for the amount of cutting forces I was using, um, or whether those feeds and speeds were just too aggressive for this tiny little piece of aluminum. But still chucked the part. I did end up breaking an end mill, but swapped that out, restarted. And I was able to get up one sorted out, no problem after that, just with the loss of an end mill. Uh, and then I put them in these soft jaws. Now, I did want to talk about these soft jaws for a minute. I think they're a good design. Uh, part fits in there nicely, although you'll see there's a little bit of side-to-side -side motion here. These big kind of clearance reliefs. That's actually intentional. Uh, if you push this part back, it self-centers itself. But... Um, leaving this much clearance means that I don't have to like comp in the soft jaw or wrestle with exact shape. So I could have cut just the exact shape of the part into the soft jaws. But then you end up having to like comp it in or the part doesn't fit and you mar up the surface finish. Uh, when you do a parcel geometry like this, the part doesn't feel as secure when you first load it in. But once you tighten it down there, you can see the part kind of self-centers. And then it's held in really securely, and location-wise, it's very repeatable. Um, so not over-constraining the geometry of your soft jaw or your part in your soft jaw is uh, an important soft jaw design technique there. But toolpath cut the jaws, cut up one and up two. Honestly, it's just a bunch of holes and counterbores, profile and facing. So part itself's not super complex, but I've been working on the workflow and trying to understand what makes a good template that'll play nice with Toolpath. 